Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Planning and Project Control Hub. In today's video, we are going to discuss step-by-step -step procedure how to update progress and primary P6 so that you can keep your project timelines accurate and on track. So let's make a scenario where you are in the initial stage of the project and you have submitted baseline with all the necessary documents required to submit with the baseline. If you have no idea which document we must submit along with the baseline, please watch my this video. Now let's assume that you have submitted the baseline and the client or the consultant approved your baseline. Now you are in a phase where you have to start updating the progress in the approved baseline and in the today's video we will be talking about what are the necessary settings you have to make and what are the necessary steps you have to follow before starting to update the progress in the baseline. So stay here and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. So let's start our today's discussion. Before going to start update the progress in the baseline, there are some necessary settings we must do. Some of them are done by default and some settings we must check like for example the earn value and the admin preferences. We have to check the earn value. We must select this option. I will make a detailed video on this, which option and when to use this specific option. For now, we will select this option to accurately reflect the earn value in our report. And now go to general and here you have to check the activity type it is task dependent the duration type it is the x duration and unit cause we are using the task dependent activities and also we have to check the percent complete type it must be the physical and the most important thing is to check the activity calendar so it's already assigned now we will assign baseline maintain baseline first and then assign the baseline now everything is ready and the baseline is signed now we can update the progress in the baseline and now we are going to start updating progress in the approved baseline but here a question arises from where to update the progress it should be noted that related to the design progress it will be provided by the design department by providing you with the design log the procurement progress will be provided by the procurement department by providing the updated permit log and the construction progress will be provided by the site team by updating quantity measurement sheet every week now let's assume that we have received all the data from the site and from each department now let's start to update progress and the primary p6 so the first activity is the project start now let's start to update the design activities Let's assume that it finished 90%. Second activities. Let's assume that it finished 45%. Run the schedule. Now see here the plan percentage and the actual percentage on value and that's the SPI. So take the actual percent and write here 4.5. So it will also give you the SPI. The SPI is equal to the earn value divided by the plan value and the S curve has also been updated here. And now we are going to update the progress for the second week. So let's assume that we have received all the data from the site to update the activities. So this one assume it has been finished. Assume that this has been started and finished up to 90%. On the schedule, take the actual percentage 19 percent. If you see here, it also gave you the SPI here, and the progress S curve has been updated here also. From the SPI, we can obtain the result that we are behind the schedule. So, as a planning engineer, you have to raise the flag to your management to expedite the activities. Now in the third week, you are expecting a very good progress since, since we have raised the flag to our management to expedite the work so that we can recover the delays. See here, the project has been delayed by nine days. So let's assume that we receive all the report from the site and now we are going to update the progress. So let's assume that this activity has been finished and this activity has been started up to 90% and along with this activity, construction activity has also been started. It has finished 90% and the second activity has also been started. And it is finished up to 85%. Run the schedule. Now 
take the actual percentage paste it here If you see here now the planned percent complete is 45% and the actual percent complete is 55.5% and we are ahead of the schedule now. And now let's move forward to update the progress for week number 4. Assume that this activity has been finished and this activity has already been finished and this activity has been finished and they have started this activity that has been finished up to 90 percent and they have already started this activity it has been finished up to 85 percent and started this activity also it has been finished up to 90 percent you can say 85 percent run the project again take the actual paste it here Now if you see the SPI is 1.27 and here you can also check the SPI is 1.27. Now we are progressing very good and our management is happy, the consultant is happy, the client is happy, everybody is now happy. And now in the week 5, let's assume that this activity has been finished and all the construction activities have been finished. Run the project. Take the actual, paste it here. And after the week number 5, we are going well and our SPI is now 1.07 and we are already ahead of the schedule. In the week number 6, let's assume that this activity has been finished. Run the project. Take the actual, paste it here. And again, we are ahead of the schedule. Now our SPI is 1. So if you see here, the planned percent complete and the actual percent complete are now same. And you can also observe it here. Now in the last week, let's assume that the final activity has been finished successfully. Run the project again. Take the actual. Paste it here. If you see here, our SPI is now 1 and we have finished the project successfully. I hope this tutorial helps you and now you can confidently update your progress and Primora P6. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Be happy and see you in the next video.